Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to simplify complex fractions using order of operations. So let us take this example. Let's say we want to we want to solve this example. And this example here is we want to simplify this complex fraction. So 2 over 3, this whole thing raised to the power of 2 plus 8 over 9 times 5 over 8 minus 1 over 4 that's in the numerator and in the denominator we have 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6 so this is the this is a complex fraction and we want to use you, we want to simplify this complex fraction using order of operations. So let us see how we can simplify this. Let's break it down in, into these different steps and then uh, and then perform the operations. So the order of operations we want to follow are according to this P E M D A S. We want to open up the parentheses. We want to expand the exponents. We want to perform the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction as they occur from left of the left of the equation to the right of the equation. So therefore, let us write this as step two. In here, we want to uh, simplify this part of the equation: five over eight minus one over four. This whole thing divided by two over three minus 1 over 6. So in the numerator part we want to find the lowest common multiple LCM for the numbers 8 and 4 and the way as we can see 8 is a multiples of 4 so therefore we can write this as 8 times sorry let me write this this way 8 times what number is equal to 8 8 uh, and then and then 4 times what number is equal to 8 we know that 8 times 1 is, is equal to 8 and 4 times 2 is equal to 8 so therefore the common denominator is going to be equal to 8 so therefore in the numerator part we can write this as 5 over 8 1 divided by 1 we're going to multiply by 1 minus 1 over 4 and we're going to multiply and divide by 2 so we can make the common denominator as equal to 8 in the in the denominator we have 2 over 3 and 1 over 6 we want to find the lower lowest common multiple for the numbers 3 and 6 as we can see 3 times as we can see 6 is a uh, 6 is a multiples of 3 so 3 times what number is equal to 6 and 6 times what number is equal to 6 we know that 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and 6 times 1 is equal to 6 and therefore the common denominator for these two fractions is going to be equal to 6 therefore we can come in come in here and then say 2 over 3 we're going to multiply and divide by 2 to make the common to make the denominator equal to 6 and then the second fraction we have is 1 over 6 we're going to write the 1 over 6 and multiply and divide by 1 it's not going to change anything but at the same time we have a common denominator for that now in looking at the numerator part we're going to multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. 5 times 1 is 5 divided by 8 minus 1 times 2 is 2 divided by 4 times 2 is 8. And then in the denominator part of it, we'll multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. 2 times 2 is 4 and then 3 times 2 is 6 minus 6, 1 times 1 is 1 and then 6 times 1 is 6. So therefore, when we have fractions with the same denominator, we're going to write the 
denominator once and then combine the numerators. We have 5 minus 2 in the numerator part and in the denominator the common denominator for 4 over 6 and 1 over 6 is 6 so we write the uh, denominator once and then we combine the numerator parts we have 4 minus 1 therefore we can write this as 5 minus 2 is 3 over 8 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3 over 6 so therefore the that whole complex fraction uh, or just this part simplified to 3 over 8 divided by 3 over 6 we can simplify this some more and we said when we have a fraction in the numerator and when we have a fraction in the denominator we write the fraction in the numerator as is we convert the division into multiplication and then we write we flip the denominator around or we write the we, we write the uh, inverse of 3 over 6 which is going to be equal to 6 over 3 and we can simplify this as follows as you can see if we have numbers in the numerator and denominator which are which are same we can uh, reduce them out 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 1 is 3 6 and 8 are both multiples of 2 so therefore 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 4 is 8 and therefore this whole fraction reduces to 3 over 4. We did just one part of this equation so therefore we'll go back and then write this as step 2 and then as you as we can see here in step 2 we want to put all of these this together and the problem we have was 2 over 3 the whole thing raised to the power of 2 plus 8 over 9 times 5 eighths minus 1 fourth divided by 2 thirds minus 1 sixth so we we simplified this part of the equation so we'll put the rest of the equation together therefore the rest of the equation looks like this so 2 over 3 the whole thing raised to the power of 2 plus 8 over 9 times the this whole fraction reduced to 3 over 4 now as step 3 we're going to simplify we're going to simplify the exponent part of it we have 2 over 3 this whole thing raised to the power of 2 the base needs to be repeated the number of times the exponential term is indicating to us so 2 over 3 is the base term and we're going to repeat that two, two times therefore we're going to multiply the numerators multiply the denominators and uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. So therefore 2 over 3, the whole thing raised to the power of 2, equals 4 over 9. So we can write this as 4 over 9 plus 8 over 9 times 3 over 4. Since we want to simplify this some more using the order of operations, the order of operations, just to recall, P, E, M, D, A, S we have completed uh, simplifying the exponents we simplified the uh, the parentheses we opened up the parentheses we want to perform the multiplication we, we need to multiply these two terms first we need to multiply those two terms first and therefore 8 over 9 times 3 over 4 if we were to look at this we have an 8 in the numerator, we have a 4 in the denominator, so 8 is a multiple of 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. We have a 9 in the denominator, we have a 3 in the numerator. So 9 is a multiple of 3, so therefore 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. Therefore, we can simplify this as 2 times 1 is 2 and 3 times 1 is 3 as uh, and therefore we can bring it back in here and then write it as 4 over 9 plus 2 over 3 we have reduced it to two simple fractions and we want to find now the next step here is we want to simplify this some more step number five we want to find the least common multiple between the numbers 9 and 3 we know that 9 is a multiples of 3 therefore we can write this as 
9 times what number is equal to 9 and then 3 times what number is equal to 9 so we know that 9 times 1 equals to 9 and we also know that 3 times 3 equals to 9 so the two numbers we are looking for are 1 and 3 and therefore we go to come back in here and then say the fraction 4 over 9 if we were to multiply and divide by 1 the common denominator is going to be 9 for that one and then for the second fraction 2 over 3 if we were to multiply and divide by 3 we will have a common denominator of 9 therefore now it is a matter of simplifying some more we multiply the numerators multiply the denominators 4 times 1 is 4 9 times 1 is 9 plus 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9 so therefore the common denominator now is 9 and as as long as we have a common denominator for fractions we can combine the numerator parts so the numerator numerator parts are 4 plus 6 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 divided by 9 this is one part of the answer so, so that the answer came out as a improper fraction an improper fraction is 1 when the numerator is larger than the denominator we can also express this as a mixed number whenever an whenever the numerator is larger than the denominator we can express those types of uh, fractions as mixed numbers so we take 10 and then divide it by 9 9 times 1 is 9 10 minus 9 is 1 so therefore we can write this as 1 1 over 9 so therefore we can we can express this co uh, this complex fraction as an uh, improper fraction as 10 over 9 or as a mixed number as 1 over 9. This is the way we want to be able to simplify complex fractions using the, using the order of operations. In my next presentation, we shall look at some more examples as to how to simplify complex fractions using order of operations.